Hey everybody, welcome back to Tech Odyssey. So I'm actually here with this really cool phone. It's the AGM H3. I don't know if you've heard about these guys or not. I've covered one or two of their phones before. The appeal here is it's a rugged phone. It's very inexpensive, about 150 bucks, and it has night vision. Yes, it has actual night vision camera with IR, so you can see when there's no light. You don't have to have any light at all, and you can see in like black and white in actual really good detail, and you can even record video with the night vision on. So it's really cool. That's really the big selling feature here. It's rugged, it's got a 12 megapixel camera, it's also got a two megapixel macro, and it's got a 5.7 inch screen, 5400 milliamp battery. All that stuff is cool. You're gonna get great battery life. You've got plenty of performance with Android 11, but the big allure is this cool night vision camera on the back, and we're gonna talk about it in this video. But before we get into that, I do wanna say if this is your first time stopping by the channel, thank you for being here. If you enjoy the video, please hit the like and the subscribe button, and the little notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the AGM H3 and this fancy night vision camera. So before I get into the night vision stuff, I want to talk about the rest of the phone. It's got 4 gigs of RAM, 64 gigabytes of storage. I believe there's also a version with 3 gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of storage. I would highly recommend you get the 4 gig 64. 5400 milliamp battery, it's got a 5.7 inch screen. You can see it looks nice, nice and bright, it's decent. It's going to get the job done. The whole thing about this phone is it's a very, very inexpensive phone, 150 bucks. It's going to last you probably all day. I mean, 5400 milliamp battery, it's got a MediaTek processor in it, and it's running Android 11. So you're not going to have to worry about it. If you want to get something, it doesn't have 5G, unfortunately. It's got global LTE. So this is a global unlock phone, no 5G, and you're going to have concerns in the U.S. if you're going to try and use this with AT&T. Not a supported device, at least not that I know of. So your options are limited. You can use it on T-Mobile. You can use it with Mint Mobile, Metro by T-Mobile, all that jazz. It should work just fine. But this is something that's cool. I think the application here, I haven't really seen something like this before, especially not at this price point. Some You, you can look at like the cat phones and they've got the thermal and the FLIR and that's really neat. This one though is kind of a different take and this is great if you're a hunter, if you want to do stuff in the middle of the night, you want to go out in the woods. It's not like, okay, it just uses a low light and it creates this black and white image. It's actual night vision. So it uses night vision, it uses the IR, which is an infrared light to illuminate, the camera can pick it up, which is what makes it special. And again, you can do this with video as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you this demonstration so you can see what it looks like with the black and white video. You're gonna see this is night vision, no lights on whatsoever, turn all the lights off, and this is what it looks like. And I was really, really impressed because when I first heard about it, when they first sent it out, I'm like, okay, this has gotta be gimmicky, but it actually works. And you can see this is inside my office. It's pitch black in here. There's no windows. I turn all the lights off. You can see everything with really, really clear detail. Now it's not 60 frames per second, but you're gonna get good video. This is great if you're a hunter. And I used to hunt quite a bit and it would this would have been indispensable walking around out in the woods because you don't want the lights all over the place. You just wanna be able to see what you're doing and this is perfect if you're you know, maybe you're working out low light construction, if you're walking around and you need something where you get really good illumination so you can see. There are benefits to having night vision as opposed to just having a lot of light. So at 150 bucks, you've got the MediaTek P22 processor in it. It's gonna get the job done. 720p resolution, it's not hardware intensive. This is not a beast in the performance department because you're not getting high speed. Not a, it's not like a Qualcomm Snapdragon Triple Eight or anything, but it's a rugged phone, you get IP68, you got mil standard drop protection, you've got IP69K ruggedness, so you're good for the water, you're good for the elements, you're good for basically everything. You don't even need a case for it, it comes with the screen protector already installed, it comes with a charger in the box, so you've got everything that you need. And this rugged design is actually pretty nice, it's got extra grip on the back here so you can hold on to it, and it just looks sharp. I mean, I was really impressed when I opened it up and I took it out of the box. I like this orange. You've got a dedicated button over here. You can use this to set it up for push to talk. If you've got one of those apps, you can also set it up for your flashlight or for your camera. Mine's set up to pull up the camera. So you've got a lot of options here whenever you want to use this. It's very versatile. Yes, this is not something, if you're looking for an iPhone, if you're looking for a Samsung phone, this is not something that people are probably looking for. But if you want something 
That's a rugged phone. It's a utility phone. If you want to go out in the field, you want to go out camping, you want to go hiking early morning, get out there before light and be able to see what's going on. You want to go hunting. There are just reasons after reasons that I can think of that this night vision capability is really cool. And this used to be like straight up military technology, which of course is still better, but for simple night vision capability, using the IR with the camera so you can detect that and you can see very well, I think that alone is probably worth $150. So this is not a sales video. Really, it's just a product showcase. I've had it. I've been testing it out. You better believe if I'm going to go out camping, I'm going to go do stuff, then I'm definitely taking this with me because it's not just a gimmick. It actually works, and it works really well. So... That's all I've got in this video, real short and sweet, and I think it's neat. If there's something you're looking for, if you want a cheap phone that also has these cool capabilities, it even has a two-watt loudspeaker, so you can listen to your music nice and loud as well, and that's something AGM likes to do. They like to put these powerful speakers in their phones. So, two-watt speaker, IP68, IP69K, mil standard, and then you've also got the night vision camera. I think there's a lot here that's worth looking at. It's really not in the... It's not something that gets a lot of software security updates. It's still running a July security patch. So if you're worried about getting monthly security updates, you probably ought to get a Samsung or a Pixel. This is not in that category. Again, $150. Temper your expectations. But for what you get, it's even got a physical fingerprint sensor on the back that makes life easy. Swipe gestures, Android 11. And it's also nice if you want to get it and have your kids use it because it's basically indestructible. It's got this built-in, really protective, rugged housing, so you don't need to buy accessories for it. It's good straight out of the box, and that's all I got. I thought it was something you guys should be aware of if it's something you're interested in. And yeah, no 5G, limited support in the U.S. because you're not going to be able to use it on AT&T. But at $150, it's kind of like, well, if you just want to use it for a night vision device, it's kind of cool. So that's all I've got in this video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those down in the comment section. I'll get back with you. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like and the subscribe button and the little notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out. And as always, thanks for being here. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you guys next time.